everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. Mike, one of the senior developers at 11th Hour Games held his normal Friday Q&A live stream on Twitch, which means I get to bring you Dev Chat 135. As always, Mike answered lots of great questions from the community and gave us some pretty juicy teasers for what is coming to Cycle 2. And if you watched or if you missed any part of Dev Chat Bingo on Friday, we had our best bingo card yet we're going for a blackout check this out come by the stream on fridays we watch and we try and guess the questions together okay first question that came out is around their unity engine upgrade um i believe you're working on some kind of engine update right yes we are if so what improvement should the updated engine bring to the game thank you i mean so it's uh, a lot of things that are um completely invisible to the player <laughs> so it's a lot of things that are like that will help us um just help our workflow um there's a lot of things that are just like oh now we can do things faster or um uh there's a little bit better memory management or um you know a lot, a lot of things that like don't feel like they'd be very important but they have a lot of knock-on effects that you'll eventually see down the road um there's also just new technologies that we can incorporate um after after we we add those in so things like um, I don't know if these are, I don't have a timeline or anything like this, but for example, things like FSR is not available in the current version that we're on and we have to update to, to gain access to it. So, you know, like, like things like that. Um, yeah. That would be huge. And there was a follow-up question. It's okay. But are there any plans to implement FSR and DLSS? Yes, this is what we talked about earlier. Um, this is one of the things that is um required to do an engine upgrade to make work so um we are in the middle of that engine upgrade right now um it's gonna be a while still i you know like this, this is not a 1.1 thing i'll tell you that for sure for sure um you know if if it goes absolutely perfectly and like everything from here on out is just like oh it works it works it works which it won't i'd still be surprised if it was even 1.2 type thing you know so so we're we're a little ways off still from it, but um, it is something we are still working on. I would guess from that description, it would have to be perfect for 1.2, 1.3. Likely we'll see it 1.4. Multiplayer performance improvements. Uh, are there any improvements to multiplayer that you can talk about performance or gameplay wise? I mean, yeah, like there's please um, there's, there's always there's always tons of little things that I that are kind of boring to talk about this is something i mentioned recently of like oh there's some some tiny improvement to memory management or um you know it, it doesn't make for very flashy announcements but um they end up having nice nice uh, gameplay implications um there were uh there's you know like there, there's also things we're investigating like we're investigating a timing issue right now um that you know might be the cause of some rubber banding stuff and you know like there's there's it's, it's a lot of boring stuff but like we're definitely working on improving the overall multiplayer uh experience so that's like the the, the, the time it takes to load things um the frequency that you have to end up in loading screens uh, how how smooth gameplay is um, how clear gameplay is when you're, when you're in a multiplayer setting there's, there's all sorts of little things that are, we're always just like tweaking and updating things like that. so yeah that, that's all in the works right now better and better i feel very confident that this will be in the game in the future <laughs> when you guys add the barbarian class can you make mike the character model <laughs> i would love to um but it, uh, you know like uh i i <laughs> I, I don't want to um suggest that it will be or won't be coming or be its own class or a master class or it's coming uh, i'm things. telling you, know, you it's, primalist it's all, barbarian all still. Um, but it, it, i i think barbarian is a uh like a, a uh, an archetype that we've we've not dived too deep into it's sort of that like um just that that brute class that's just i'm i uh, hulk smash here we go um and I, I think there's I think there's lots of fun design space there still for us. This one's interesting. Updates to corruption control. 
Right, any new changes when playing with people in 1.1, specifically towards increasing corruption for everyone in the party? There are, um, uh, yes, uh, it's not quite as simple as just like corruption shared. Uh, it's it's like um, we're we're utilizing existing systems to um, let players progress their corruption uh, as as they uh, like um, with a little bit more control when playing in a party than just no <laughs> so a, a lot more control <laughs> um, than just no. I honestly have no idea what that means. You're going to be able to control your corruption progression inside of a party. Now, during the stream, EHG actually did something different, which was great. They pulled the community and asked, what teasers do you want to see? You want to see Forge Guard, Shaman, Source, Void Knight, et cetera, et cetera. And the two winners from the poll was Forge Guard. Of course, I think that's what we're going to start with for cycle two and Shaman. So this is going to be the Forge Guard and you will notice a trend here. Boom. All right. So we've got a new node uh, for Javelinier. Uh, throwing attack critical multiplier plus 10% per point. Six points available in the node. This is a little uh, a 40 point passive. So this is above the lock line. So it's Forge Guard specific. You can't get this on anyone else. Uh, and then it has a threshold node for a four point bonus. Your throwing attacks have additional base critical strike chance per five points of dexterity throwing critical chance uh, one percent yeah. uh, per five points of dexterity he says javelin i see shield throw yes and that is not that is base crit these are called threshold nodes, and it has been talked about over and over again. You go play Rune Master, then you go play an older mastery, and a big difference is the updated passive trees where the other older skills or the older masteries don't have these passive node thresholds. It looks like they are coming to the older masteries. This is huge for throwing the singular node for Forge Guard. Question I get asked a thousand times. Cycles contain content and core systems, or will you begin implementing cycle-specific mechanics in order to test new experimental features in the future? Um, the uh, the first few cycles, at least, um, we do plan all, all of the features that you see um, in the first few cycles are being designed as core cycle or as core game mechanics um, right out of the box. So these are things that we are we're, we're like. This is this is going to be a core mechanic, um, and we're designing it as a core mechanic, and we're like that's that's the plan with all these uh, um, the, the the at least the early on ones we're doing. Um, we do um, we do uh, um, sorry, <laughs> people are sending me messages. Uh, we do plan on having um, cycle specific mechanics in the future. Um, I don't know when that's going to start. So, like, um, as an example, we've even looked at having temporary time-gated mechanics in the poll we sent out recently. Um, uh, I don't know if I, I, uh, the poll finished. I don't know what we're doing with the results in that. I hope we can share some of those results. We'll see. We'll see about that later. But, um, yeah, like, so we, we with, with our most, with our announcement, uh, last big announcement went out, we did also send out a survey to... Um, uh, to, to like find out what people want uh, to do with time gated mechanics, temporary time gated mechanics, permanent time gated mechanics for cycle content. Um, so yeah, that's that's all on the table, and we're very open to feedback on what people want. First four cycles, a hundred percent are coming to core, and by the time the first four cycles are done, the campaign still won't be complete. There'll still be two chapters left on the campaign. I would guess realistically. The first 10 cycles, maybe eight cycles. All core. This one I had to do a double take on. Uh, is there a possible down the road to make 
dismemberment. <laughs> uh, that enemies shatter on death when they're frozen. That arrows stick into enemies when they're hit and so on. Yeah, I mean, that, like, um, that style of stuff is all very much on the table. Uh, you know, I, I, I can even say that one of those things is actively being worked on, actually. Um, what? What? They're... They're, 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 they're quite awesome when they work well uh, and are really not awesome when they don't work well and are quite often pretty uh, dev time expensive to, to make work. So, um, you know, that's the, that's the sort of polish and... He doesn't tell us which one, but based upon that, dismemberment, arrow sticking in enemies, enemies shattering when they're frozen, I am going to guess... It's the shattering. Teaser two, shaman. Here we are. Here's a new shaman passive node. Gift of the skies. Eight point passive node. Increase attack speed and cast speed two per point, two percent per point, plus eight dodge rating per point, and a five point threshold node. When you directly summon a totem, it gains frenzy for a short duration. Totem frenzy duration. A seconds three. Totem Master, because of this singular node, is going to be so much better. Every time you cast a totem, it will automatically be frenzied for three seconds. Now, Mike doesn't tell us a lot here. This is a question from me. But normally when I'm playing Last Epoch, I try to go life. I try to go crit avoidance, resistance, endurance, endurance threshold, and shy away from ward. Even though, yes, I understand ward is superior. Here was my question. All right, will we see any updates to endurance for cycle two? Potentially a little buff to compete with ward. Um, there's. You see that smile on his face? You saw it. Uh, at l uh, <laughs> yeah, there's there's some stuff. There's there's some changes. Um, less on the like overarching systematic side and more on the specific side. Okay, Mike in the stream earlier said Ward is getting a nerf, or maybe it should be nerfed. He said something like that. I think it's getting reeled in. Endurance, more on the specific side. What does that mean? I'm guessing that a simple Ward or Endurance right now maxes at 60%. Maybe it will now max at 70%. And maybe they'll take Endurance Threshold and add, who knows, 20, 30% to the affixes on gear. So you have a higher percentage of endurance and you have more endurance threshold, something along those lines. All right, everyone, unfortunately, we have come to the final question for DevChat 135, focused around player versus player. Mike, as always, thank you for your continued Friday live streams. We appreciate it. It is always so much fun. And thanks for all the bingos. Two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I've earned your sub. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I have earned it. And check out the Patreon. It is the best way to support into the future. First link in the description. Movie night and game night are both coming up. And I guess I have three asks. Check out the Action RPG Discord as well. We have multiple voice chats for Last Epoch. We have a community event coming up for Cycle 2. All the news, all the conversation. It is the best place to kick it. I'm done. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Mike, take it away. All right. Any chance on PvP Arena? Uh, I, I'd love to. Um, we've, we've, we've talked about PvP a few times. Um, it was uh, one of the stretch goals on Kickstarter, so like it's been it's been in the conversation for a long time. Um, the I think there's a, a, a good chance it'll happen eventually. Um, we we kind of tried to emulate uh, a, a, a a small fraction of the feeling of PvP a little bit in the limited arena that's already there, where you fight a um, a player character style NPC.